Apple released macOS Tahoe or macOS 26 on 9th of September and we currently have build number 25A354. This is the latest version. There is no 26.1 beta yet or 0 0.0.1, none of that. When you look at the interface, almost everything you know has changed. You can see the menu bar, there is no more gradients or like no more demarcation between the menu bar and the wallpaper. It's exactly the same wallpaper background they share and same goes for every single icon on the menu bar. There is also no more launchpad here. We now have apps, no launchpad. It's just the Windows 11 looking kind of interface we have now for selecting our apps. Yeah, it's quite weird Apple had to get rid of the launchpad. It was one of those things that made macOS macOS, but I guess they had a kind of point. When you think about it, the launchpad looked like something that was designed to serve an ipad os situation due to the kind of gesture of swiping the pages but this one seems more like a trackpad function in short you can already tell everything here is liquid glass look at the control center yeah this is as liquid glass as it gets the interface is different the menus are different yeah the way you adjust stuff everything is very reminiscent of the liquid glass design language Apple is using on every single one of their platforms this year. It's quite nice looking. Obviously, this would have a little impact on the battery. We'll get to that in a moment. There is a bug I noticed anyway. If you use this app called Bartender, which is what helps you control and make your menu bar neater and less cluttered, yeah, I noticed there are bugs. The app doesn't behave exactly well. Sometimes it glitches and the cursor might begin to blink, especially if you have external displays connected. Yeah, but it's nice that Bartender has updated their software to match macOS Tahoe. You can see there is Prasky Liquid Glass in this particular third-party app, which means they have used the latest version of Xcode to redesign every single thing. It's just by the way anyway, it's not really what we are here for. One of the main changes that came to the music app is called Automix. Yeah, Automix both on iPhones and the Mac and iPad, it lets you like transition the song from one to another in a very creative way. Apart from that, the music app itself has the liquid glass elements as you can see. Yeah, looks very polished and looks a lot better than what we had on mac os 18 sorry that was mac os 15. you can see we have the transition styles of crossfade and automix automix is the new one crossfade is what was previously there i currently have automix turned on and you'll see how this music will transition to the next watch yeah there it is mixing as you can see yeah, this is how it transitions from one song to another. I actually prefer the animation on the iPhones, or what I call it the transition, but it's not so bad either on the Mac. Same album cover, I didn't even know. <laughs> Crazy, right? The liquid glass design itself is quite impressive. Yeah, even if it will drain your battery more, you can see that nice acrylic way it fades into the header when I scroll yeah, and let's check out those icons we have dark icons uh, that should take a sec I guess it's still buggy when you want to change one icon to another we also have clear icons okay let's try the dark again yeah the dark works now so you can see dark icons and then we have tinted icons you can see it changes the color to yellow. Mm -hmm. You can also change the color of your folders now on Mac OS 26. But I prefer my default icons. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. But you can change the color of your folders. Like, let's try red. You can see everything is red. Let's try purple. And everything is now purple. Yep. And you can see how the folders slide behind this 
liquid glass bar right here yeah quite impressive by apple in the wallpaper parts of settings we can now customize our clock appearance yeah we have different styles very alive with what you have on the iphone you can also adjust the size of the fonts i kind of prefer this one anyway we also have this nice Taho wallpaper. Yeah, and this is how the Taho wallpaper looks on its own. We also have Taho Day. Yeah, this is Taho Day. It has a live mode where you can see the live wallpaper and the waves from the, what I call this, an island or a beach. It can't really be a beach, can it? In the menu bar, Though Apple removed the background for the menu bar by default, you can still add the background back, yeah. For me, I kind of prefer it this way because I just don't like when the wallpaper confuses me in looking at what I have, either the icons or the options. You can also customize the controls on the control center right from here. It looks more like what you have on the iPhone and iPad. One of the key things about Mac OS 26 Tahoe is the new Spotlight Search. Yeah, this one in particular, you can search for applications, files, actions in the Shortcuts app and you now have a clipboard history. So that's nice. Clipboard is no longer as limited as it was on Mac OS previously. iPhone 17 Pro, of course. I love how the color of the web page shines in a weird way behind the liquid glass header right here but then i miss the fact that we, we could customize our top settings we can't do that anymore marco estaho is just plain old whatever this is i don't know there is something about me i just prefer the safari design on marco s 15 over marco estaho but whatever, I guess I'll get used to this as time goes on. Take a look at this. In graphics, previously we had Metal 3 on Mac OS 15. Apple updated this to Metal 4, which means your Mac should be able to take more advantage of the Metal power in the Apple GPU on Apple Silicon. Yeah, so you should expect slightly better graphical compatibility and performance overall on mac os tahoe that's very good from apple i guess that's why we see higher and total benchmarks on iphones with ios 26 over ios 18 we also have this new games app it's more like arcade yeah it's like a glorified version of the arcade app no one is entering here to play the weird boring looking games we have I could try out as false 8 anyway if I didn't have to pay for Apple Arcade. The battery on macOS Tahoe is considerably worse than how it is on macOS 15. But luckily, I would say the UI elements are not as uh, dynamic on macOS Tahoe as they are on iOS 26. For instance, if you hover across like these toggles for instance they are kind of static but if you do the same thing on ios 26 you'd see a kind of white reflection moving across where your finger touches you get what i mean exactly so it drains your battery faster but it's not as crazy as how it is on let's say ios 26 and ipad os 26 yeah which means you can still live with it and then the few bugs and probably compatibility issues one or two between third-party apps and Mac OS 26, like Bartender, for instance. And let's see how then see happened during the beta testing period where the battery charging limit feature was not even working due to SMC upgrades. Same goes for the apps we used to add up to a thousand nits for macbook pros with xdr displays you get what i mean so essentially it's quite interesting what we have on mac os tahoe even on the app library we can now get access to our phone apps you can see if you turn on iphone mirroring yeah so you can directly open your phone app 
straight up. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.